Hello Drive Radio fans, Richard Rush here today for the long review of the 2015 Toyota RAV4. This is the limited trim edition, or trim model I should say. Has a lot of great features on this car. Very nice compact crossover uh, is I guess the official term of it, but really did enjoy driving this car. So let's take a quick look around uh, of this car and we'll go for a quick drive as well. The one thing you'll notice on this front, on the front end, is again, they give you great clearance right here uh, in terms of the sloped look. Oh, Toyota has done a fantastic job. Not a lot has changed from the 2014 model. Uh, they've added a few different packages that, that are some uh, different available options for you. And you will notice right there, the 18 inch wheels, which are on the limited trim level, which speaking of the limited trim level, it also gives you keyless entry and ignition an auto damming rear view mirror, leather wrap steering wheel and shifter, eight way power driver seat, heated front seats, and synthetic leather throughout. You also notice the roof rack there, which does give this car a great versatile, um, I guess palette you could say in terms of what you're able to use this car for. You will notice right here what Toyota has done as well as Lexus in terms of the fluting back here to give it a more aerodynamic qualities. This car as it sits as priced, is $33,808, so just above that $33,000 mark, but really great value. It's very compact. You can get in and out of uh, parking spaces very easily, and I actually will point out, my fiance mentioned when we were driving around that she was close to purchasing this car before she purchased her last car. She wasn't quite sure what the 2014 model year would look like at that point in time, which, as you can see, no spare tire back here, which it happened in 2014 and is a big thumbs up for us. So she wasn't quite sure, but the one thing she pointed out is it gives a great compact feel as well as you get that SUV feel along with it to where you, you feel like you're sitting above everyone else. At the same time, you, you can get in and out of those tight spaces as needed. But let's take a quick drive. We'll come back, we'll review the interior of the 2015 Toyota RAV4. All right, friends, we're gonna take a quick drive in the 2015 Toyota RAV4. But before we do that, we like to show you a little bit of the features that you can get a better view of from back there. Uh, this is Toyota's, again, their, their in-tune system that you can actually sync your phone with uh, in, in terms of syncing your Bluetooth capability, very easy to do. Love the physical buttons here. Also, it's a touch screen. Some people with larger fingers might complain uh, of having to touch these smaller buttons, but not a huge factor for, for if you have about average sized hands. I will point out one thing, which we kind of forget to mention. This, and this is becoming more common in a lot of, especially the Toyotas that we drive. Actually, when you make a call and you're listening to the radio, it will actually pause that radio station for you and keep track for up to 20 minutes. And then once you resume that, or once you end that call, it will actually resume, and these buttons will actually highlight with a play, a, or actually, well, it'll be pause, but it'll be a pause, a fast forward, and a skip forward option to where you can actually, again, if you're listening to a sports talk show, which I do quite a bit, or you know, even if you're listening to a, just a talk show in general, it's a great feature uh, for you. It's something small, but something to keep in mind. As we were in the backup camera, does not turn with the steering wheel, again, not a huge thing and not something that we're gonna knock it for, but something that some other car manufacturers are doing and even some other Toyota brands have done as well. But something to consider, nice backup camera, however. So as we pull out here, this car does have three modes, I like to say. It does have the eco mode, the standard mode, and the sport mode. And I can tell you, you can feel a difference when you put it in sport mode, this car will go. When you put it in eco mode, it's definitely more constant conscientious of the fuel economy. Something also to note, this car comes standard with the six-speed automatic transmission, whereas other competitors might have the option for a CVT. And some of, some of you who aren't huge fans of the CVT, you might like this car better for that purpose and that reason, that, that it that does not have that option on here, doesn't have, some of those do have that droning uh, kit, capability or droning noise in it. As we are driving here, you will notice it does actually have a pretty quiet interior, especially for a car that if you can get for underneath $30,000, very quiet interior, very pleased with, with how it, uh, how this car drives, how it rides. Uh, it's not quite as sporty as some of the other, well, some of the other cars on the market. However, it does have a nice luxurious feel in terms of the quietness and having a conversation. One thing I will note is the Bluetooth. I was on several different calls. Depending on your phone and the quality, I was getting some reports of a lot of feedback and some other reports of not having any as all. So it might be just specific to you. 
In terms of fuel economy, we were able to average about 26 miles per gallon, 26, 27. My dad was able to average 29. I was closer to the 25, 26 mark, but you, you might be anywhere in between. Overall, really impressed with this car. Toyota, you've done a great job on the RAV4, but let's go back, head back. We'll do the interior review of the 2015 Toyota RAV4. Okay, fans, we're back from the driving portion. As always, you probably get tired of the saying it. Get out, drive these cars yourselves. That's the only way to figure out if the car is for you or not. But we're here on the trunk portion. One thing I will point out, the rear view camera right here, this is actually standard on all 2015 RAV4s. Uh, they, uh, the technology package, which is about $750, adds some blind spot monitoring, uh, cross traffic alert, and, and as well as lane departure assist. But what's nice is in 2016, the rear view camera is going to be standard on all cars uh, from all manufacturers and so 2015 a lot of car manufacturers are starting to do that as well but we're back here in the trunk you this does have a power lift gate so you just push it left let it open up it does have adjustable height if necessary so if you do need to raise this up higher you can if you need to lower it you can and actually I don't know if you can show this dad it, you, it actually shows you right here how you adjust it to where you just pull it down adjust it and, and you're good to go one thing about this right about this uh, the, this car this SUV you can say great trunk space right here you can see the, the the snow the snow scraper there which we actually did have in Colorado and I will tell you that this car did handle tremendously well in the snow the all-wheel drive version did this this is above average um, cargo capacity right here and if you actually set that second row of seats down it actually upgrades you to 73 cubic feet of cargo room which for this car I can tell you it's very surprising to find that out. And so, um, again, you, you do have the privacy screen right here, and you have the capabilities uh, of a lot of different towing right, right here, or not towing, but uh, being able to tie things down, which is some great features here. One thing I will point out as well, as we kind of pull back from there, the load height of this car, and this SUV, I should say, very easy, very easy to get things out. As you can see, it's really up to, my knees are right here. It's really right about my knee, knee height. So you're able to slide heavy things in very easily without too much trouble. So definitely a great feature. And again, the push to close gives me a nice beep, lets it go down. One thing I would like to see, which you're going to find on, on maybe a little bit higher priced cars, is moving the windshield wiper up here to where it's hidden a little bit. Not a deal breaker, something to be aware of. So let's head around to the uh, second row here. And I'll slide in one thing on this car. This is all the way back. And you can see, I've got a good six to eight inches of leg room here. So very roomy, which from the outside, you don't see that in this car. A very roomy interior. You can see you do have the soft touch. We mentioned the synthetic leather. Uh, beforehand, you have this carbon fiber type of a, a material there, or at least carbon fiber type of looking material. There are no vents or anything back here. So not, not a deal breaker, just something to be aware of. Um, and it does, we will point this out, it does have a reclining option. So I can actually recline all the way back and man this is comfortable to be honest with you i mean this is all the way back i got plenty of room and this seat can even move up farther so really it's a it's a great compact crossover and then i just pull that up and now i'm back to where i was before and we always try to do this as i'm getting out plenty of room to get out especially if you're a lady would not be concerned about that at all all right fans we're here on the front seat portion going to go over some of the uh, interior features we didn't cover in the driving portion uh, you'll notice right here again the synthetic leather we mentioned goes right here it doesn't follow up onto the dash but is right here so a nice feel so if you're adjusting your your air conditioning or, or, or your temperature right there it gives it a nice feel there you do have a little bit of storage a nice rubberized right here so if you set your phone it's not going to slide around quite as much you have your 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 I guess a kind of a little mini information display right here as well as the button for your lane departure a dual climate controls down here is your uh, cigarette lighter port or power port your auxiliary and USB along with your heated seats sport and eco mode one thing I will note it's a little awkward to get to this especially if you're a taller driver trying to view this information a little bit difficult not a deal breaker just something to keep in mind. You have great storage, however, for your phone right here. Some extra storage here. Cup holders. One thing I will point out, Dad, if you can get this. This is an extra wide cup holders. We use these bottles. They're, they're hydro flask bottles, if those of you are familiar with them. Water bottles. And being able to actually, it'll actually fit all the way down inside there, which is a great feature for us. And some of you are going to say, well, you Americans and the, and the big cup holders. Really, it's for big water bottles that we like to carry around. 
in terms of this is standard Toyota. Really good job here. It is leather wrapped, whereas the rest of this is synthetic leather. So they've done a great job at that. You have again, you have the blind spot monitoring controls over here. And overall, very impressed with this. You do have the sunroof here. Make sure I'll get that before we close out the the actual information segment of this review opens up and it actually does not eliminate a lot of headroom which is a very nice feature but with that being said uh, i'll actually come back and i'll give you my opinion of the 2015 toyota rav4 okay fans here's my opinion of the 2015 toyota rav4 really did did like it and enjoy this car toyota has done a fantastic job with it uh, some pros for me the price $33,000 pretty much top of the line is what you're going to pay for it. You, you'd be able to get this car for underneath thirty grand very easily if you didn't want some of these creature comforts. Uh, fuel economy, you're rated for about 25 miles per gallon in the all-wheel drive. We were actually able to average about 27, almost 28 miles per gallon combined between the two of us. And also roominess, very roomy cabin, very spacious, but you also get that compact feel. Some cons for me, you only have one engine option um, and you're also uh, the capability or the plasticky feel on the interior is uh, for some people maybe a turn off you might want a little bit more leather or, or some different features there but it's not a huge thing just something to keep in mind and, and for me was if I'm looking at purchasing this car something I might want to be conscientious of but overall really did enjoy this car Toyota two thumbs up on, on, on this it's a great compact crossover if you're needing to haul uh, some kiddos around or some cargo it's a great option for you if you're interested in this car and you want to learn more head to your local Toyota dealer and tell them that John and Richard Rush from Drive Radio sent you hey everyone thanks for tuning in to our latest video we really appreciate you listening and watching and we really do appreciate all the comments that you do have if you'd like to learn more information not only about uh, this review but other our other car reviews that we've done head to our website www.drive-radio.com also head to our Facebook page facebook.com slash drive radio and last but not least where you can watch all of these other reviews head to youtube.com slash drive radio all one word or in the YouTube search bar drive radio we have a lot of other content on there and we look forward to you heading there again checking us out leaving your comments and if you're interested in any of these cars head to your local dealer and tell them that John and Richard Rush from drive radio sent you thanks and have a great day night uh, and just enjoy yourselves thank you so much